beautiful everywhere. We smoke that ganja, blow that smoke up in the air. They say we don't can have it, but we really don't care. Liberate the mind of the people everywhere. We all love them, everyone. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Leo. Yeah, it's your boy Mikey. Welcome to the Mikey Leo Show. What it does. Uh, <laughs> I try to talk to them, but they don't want to see. Right. They don't want to see. They don't want to listen, man. Nah, bro. Bro. Denial. Denial, man. Denial. Not the real <laughs> Not the real one. Yeah, the real one. But you motherfuckers that are in denial need to need to sink and swim in the damn Nile. Cause that shit is death to me. Do you think that denial sometimes comes from the desire to fit in? In a sense, yeah. Like when you say it like that, I, I could apply that to mm -hmm. the society that we live in. A lot of people deny that we live in a systematically racially white supremacist driven mm -hmm. um, system, mm -hmm. people deny that shit to the core. And I feel like they deny that shit just because they think that that's what they're supposed to say. Because mm -hmm. they will get acceptance from people in the dominant society. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's like, okay, you can try to deny that shit all day, but once that shit comes knocking on your door, <clears throat> you ain't got shit to say now. You dead. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Denial is death, man. And then that shit trickles all the way down into family structures and shit like that. Some people deny shit to fit in to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause okay, I have this certain image and if I admit to this certain thing, then it takes away from this certain image that I'm trying to portray to people. I've seen people deny the race or the ethnic part, the cultural part of their race. Cause you, you can't deny that looking at a person and they black if they black. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but they won't say, I won't call myself a black man when your skin is just that. If right. we're talking about black man, we're talking about just skin. We're talking so, half a nigga, that's yeah, what we're talking about. <laughs> and that nature. Now, when you're talking about culture, they'll deny that too mm -hmm. to be accepted or to be looked at as not aggressive and open. And, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Accepted by the we people that's in front of them. And I think that that's a. Uh, a cop out that you, your identity has to be in question just to have friends. Right. You do know what I'm saying? Yeah, like like with Kanye West, my nigga's in denial, man. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> the whole time I was talking, bro, I mm -hmm. was thinking about my old boy. Who, Kanye? Kanye Yeezy, dog. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. And, right. uh, and when you just brought him out like that, I was like, wait a minute. Get out of my mind. Man. Get out of my mind. <laughs> That's what mind. I was thinking when you said that. Because there was yeah. a lot of shit he was saying that was true, but mm -hmm. his intentions behind what he was saying was they were not good. Mm -hmm. His intentions were for acceptance. Mm -hmm. Now, to fit in. Which part of the rent, like, I call it rent because that's what That's I what it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which part of the rent that you was feeling that you was like? Well, I understood what he was saying when he was talking about 400 years mm -hmm. it don't sound like um, it sounds like a choice yeah so you mentally enslaved and I believe that I believe 400 years is too much like yeah. after five or six years of me being a slave <laughs> and we outnumbered slave owners and the people that worked on the slave man, white I'm people I'm gonna this nigga ass man for every soon ten of he, us it was one of them soon as he go to sleep I'm yeah. busting his ass and we gonna do it outside you know he can't last all time we got all those opportunities to do so yes I, I agree with that statement but what I don't agree with is him saying that he's more than just being black and him really you remember like a lot of people was fucking with Kanye when he said um uh George Bush don't like black people you remember that mm -hmm. so in that rant I listened to that whole rant he said he, he literally walked back those statements mm -hmm. and said that he apologized to George Bush's uh father mm -hmm. for saying that shit mm -hmm. so you basically took back what you said. So to me, now, everything you even did up until now, Kanye, is questionable. And to me, it's, it's beyond you being a, um, a coon. Now you're a traitor. Yeah. And, and for you to go to a platform and take it over like that, that's, that's narcissistic as fuck. And he actually said that in one of his interviews, that he's a narcissist. And this is how narcissistic people... Act and this is how 
they uh, manipulate society. You get what I'm saying? Because he's manipulating this for his album right now. He's manipulating uh, uh, black people. And he's doing it all for white acceptance. That's all it's for. Because the whole time he's just complaining about how these big uh, wig white people won't accept him into their circle. And it's like, dude, you successful as fuck. Why do you need a pat on Massa? Why do you need a pat on your head for Massa? It's obvious that there's some narcissism going on. No, it's obvious that dude is a straight narcissist and his ego is out of control. Yeah, he said it himself. You know, and that's obvious. But in today's society, that's what fame is. That's what's famous. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Now, when you got, like, that type of denial on a grand scale, you know, now he's setting himself up because evidently his creativity is, he ain't really focusing. Like he can't, mm -hmm. you can't have that much going on and still be creative, like to the top of your creativity right. at the same time. So because of that, you know, and by him being in the spotlight, what we're looking at is just the end of a creative era. Yeah. You know, and so now, any means to get into the spotlight, you know, you just thought you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, why, why, why this subject? Yeah, like usually people start talking like this when they running out of money. Yeah, and you gotta watch these. Remember, I keep telling y'all and telling people about these old Negroes. Yeah, man. once they get like shit past the age of forty, man. Yeah, or thirty five now, it's like yeah, you gotta watch these old dudes because they lose. The fight and the resilience, man, and they start having these families and they have shit to lose, so they, they become a little worn down. Yeah, yeah. And and they don't have the same type of energy they used to have. Like when Kanye first came out, he was saying some real shit. Man. Now we see that that yeah. shit was a, a he was a he mix was between the game. Yeah, he was a mix between conscious and like man, I can't help but keep fucking up. Yeah. And he was playing the game, and a lot of these people play the game. And mm -hmm. see, black people think playing the game and yeah he just playing the game with the white folks mm -hmm. no he playing the game against with you because that's who he wants to buy the music right so mm -hmm. he's going to say what you think and what you would say to represent you but he really doesn't feel that way so that's playing the game mm -hmm. and we done had it fucked up this whole time thinking that playing the game meant something else and that's what's happening right mm -hmm. now we've been played this whole time and I, I can't even listen to dude no more now dog and when I look at shit like that I look at I look at like the destruction of a lot of families, man, that have to deal with shit like that. Like, yes, he's a breadwinner and shit like that, and he brings in a lot of money. But do you trust that person to be, you know, controlling shit when it comes to money and shit like that, and, and your family and your infrastructure and shit like that? And no, I can't, cause you don't fuck around and say some shit, and it's gonna fuck up everything for all of us. Yeah, yeah. And now he's looking for that wow and shock factor. And I understand that, how it goes, man. And when you lose your creativity, it's hard to see that, you know. But mm -hmm. it's obvious that when you focus on everything else in the world besides your craft and what made you, and everything becomes a distraction like that, you know, like, to be honest with you, who the fuck cares what he think about any of that shit? Right. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't. You know what I'm saying? So, right. it's like, make a song. But it's like, exactly, it's like what I keep saying. We look for our entertainers yeah. and our sports athletes and shit as leaders. Yeah. And we can't put that burden on them. I don't expect for Kanye to speak like a, a true intellectual. He's an entertainer. He's right. not in that type of field. Yeah. And black people are the only people that put all of our... Um, we, we, we're the only people that look to... People like that as our leaders, or to to say something credible. When we have actual scholars and professors in our communities that have valid points and are really saying the real yeah. shit, but nobody's listening to them at all. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. At all, and it's just like people keep trying to deny the truth, and they keep going to what they think is real. Like the truth is not what you really want to hear, man. Yeah. And you have to really face up to that and deal with that. It, like me, I'm addicted to the truth now. Yeah. So much so that it doesn't even hurt anymore. If you can't deal with truth, how you gonna deal with life? Right. Cause life is truth. Denial is not dealing with truth at all. Exactly. 
Exactly. And the narcissist can never deal with truth. The, a narcissist is always in denial. Because it's accountability and truth. Yeah, and the narcissist can't look at himself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so denial is... The next, you get what I'm saying? If I can't look at myself, then I will deny everything. Everything that you say about me, mm -hmm. every accusation, right. every flaw that you think you see. Notice how I say think you see because right. I'm denying that you see it. You know, and that's, that's it goes hand in hand with, with the narcissistic personality. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? It's that buffoonery, you know, that we love so much. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't even blame them. I don't blame the people that take advantage of buffoonery. No. I blame the audiences of buffoonery. Right. People that, that feed into it because I, I just take out of, I take shit out of what people say and I try to look at it objectively. Like the shit he was saying, yes, it makes sense. This That shit was a choice. 400 years sound like a choice. Yeah, it does. But when you get off the rails and start talking like I'm 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 not black, I'm OJ. That type of shit. I'm not black, I'm Bill Cosby. Okay. All right. You must want to do that. You know, mm -hmm. you must really want to be accepted by white people and that's what it sounds like. Like my nigga don't even sound the same anymore. Right. So look, I'm raised on the plantation. Mhm. Mm okay. As a person, we are connected very much with nature, especially black and the animals around and everything. And as an animal, you know, like, I have a pet dog. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And my pet dog is very savvy in the ways of how I run my house. Mm -hmm. She know what not to do, what not to fuck with, you know? And, you know, I, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I treat my dog like my friend. Yeah. However, you know, she know not to go outside this part of the fence, not to fuck around over here and there. Mm -hmm. So if she have a baby, and if the baby start fucking up in that nature, the baby puppy, then she gonna be like correcting them and, you know, training the baby mm -hmm. in the ways that she been taught. Right. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So raising up on a, on a, on a, a slave plantation in that manner where, you know, it's evident that the mom has accepted that this is master and the dad has accepted that this is master. Mm -hmm. Because like with Willie Lynch, you know, they beat the man, but they beat the man in front of the woman right. so that the woman can lose her security and breed. And that's why Willie Lynch said that this process will make a slave for hundreds of years to come. To come, right, up until now. Up until and now. And past now. So now you got raised on this place, as you see it, this is the major thing that happens. The only way that a person can be free from a situation like that is knowledge. Mm -hmm. And see, they don't want you to know that. It was uprisings and motherfuckers running away and revolting before Harriet Tubman. Right. You see what I'm saying? And we was already doing that. So it was a lot of us that wasn't accepting that slavery bullshit. And those are the people who are warriors now. And it did also through breeding, you know, we they put the best with the best. Right. And now we got superhumans that's jumping from we got LeBron James. three point line and shit. Yeah. And motherfuckers like down to three hundred pounds that can fly mm -hmm. and shit like that and they wonder like damn how these things doing that and that's why it's like you know that's how look at the the puppy breeding system that's what they do there mm -hmm. you they know what i'm saying the to best. breed the, the best of the best but anyway that's just something to think about at this time ladies and gentlemen i'd like to say thank you for tuning in to mikey leo the melanated father and son duo just two grown men Talking about things that matters. Until the next time you bless us with your eardrums, love yourselves, and be free. People everywhere, we smoke that ganja bro that smoke up in the air. They say we know can have it, but we really don't care. Liberate the mind of the people everywhere. We all love them, everyone. People everywhere, we smoke that ganja bro that smoke up in the air. They say we know can have it, but we really don't care. Liberate the mind of the people everywhere We all love them, everyone